our engineers, designers can come down here as soon as they've got 3D data and start understanding what the car looks like, what it feels like, and how they're going to put it together. As I pull the car along, you can see some of the cable routes that route through the doors. Round to the front, you can see the brakes, part of the suspension. We're now looking at the engine nestled very tightly into the new subframe, which is in the blue bits at the bottom. You can see the powertrain on the right-hand side there, the gearbox close up against it, and the uh, air compressor in the brown there. If you continue through the engine, go through the engine mount, through the middle of the engine, we've now gone through the back of the engine, and we're now looking at the electric power-assisted steering, which is there for the uh, fuel economy and also the added customer feature. If we just pull the section back just a little bit, we'll see the, um, in brown, that's the uh, lightweight control arms, which are a big uh, weight saving on the front of the suspension. So this is one of our proudest achievements, is how much space we've managed to deliver in the back of the coupe vehicle. We spent a great deal of time in the cave, optimising all the surfaces around the uh, rear occupant's head. This is what we did to get the golf clubs in and out. We spent a great deal of time refining all these surfaces and helping to drive them outboard as far as possible and making sure we could get the uh, swing that golf bag in and out.